बॉर्नहेबर साइकल बेसिकली कंसिडर्स हेस रूल मीन्स इफ टू स्टेट्स आर देयर टू पोजिशन्स आर देयर एंड वी कैन मूव फ्रॉम स्टेट ए टू स्टेट बी वाया मेनी वेज एनी पाथ एनी वे लेट वी चूज एनी हाउ चेंज इन एनर्जेटिक्स विल बी द सेम मीन्स इफ यू हैव टू कंसिडर सोडियम क्लोराइड फॉर्मेशन देन डायरेक्ट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड फ्रॉम सॉलिड सोडियम एंड गैसेस क्लोरिन दैट वी कैन कंसिडर और स्टेप वाइज सोडियम सॉलिड कन्वर्टेड टू गैस कन्वर्टेड टू गैसेस आय एन क्लोरिन मॉलिक्यूल कन्वर्टेड टू क्लोरिन आइटम कन्वर्ट टू क्लोराइड आय एन देन सोडियम आय एन एंड क्लोराइड आय एन दे कम टूगेदर टू फॉर्म द क्रिस्टल लटाइज सोडियम क्लोराइड सो दैट इज इन डायरेक्ट वे डायरेक्ट वे फॉर्मेशन एंड इन डायरेक्ट वे फॉर्मेशन एंड इन दैट इन डायरेक्ट वे फॉर्मेशन लटाइज एनर्जी कम्स सो इफ वी नो द अदर वैल्यूज वी कैन फाइंड आउट लटाइज एनर्जी एंड इफ वी नो लटाइज एनर्जी दिन अदर थिंग्स इफ वी डू नॉट नो दो थिंग्स ऑल्सो वी कैन फाइंड आउट इज अ सिंपल अल्जेब्रेक इक्वेशन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन बाय वन एग्जाम्पल सोडियम क्लोराइड Let us begin our discussion. In 1919, Max Born and Fritz Haber have given us a good idea to determine lattice energy experimentally, which was elsewhere very difficult to find out. Numerical ways were there, experimental way was lagging, and they have given us idea to find experimentally lattice energy. They have used the Hess rule transformation from state A to state B. If occurs through various paths, overall change in the energy will be the same. So direct formation and indirect formation of crystal lattices they have studied. Let us understand it by one example. They have studied various crystals. but as an example for clarity or understanding purpose i am taking sodium chloride i am considering sodium chloride lattice formation his rule that we are applying direct formation at bottom it is mentioned there sodium solid plus half of the chlorine molecule use nacl solid half of the chlorine molecule is considered because product side there is a only one cl and in elemental state chlorine exist in gaseous form it is with the formula cl2 so natural it is to consider therefore it is considered half of cl2 naturally sodium remains in solid form at room temperature therefore we are considering solid sodium and gaseous chlorine half of the chlorine molecule to give solid nacl it is a direct reaction direct formation of sodium chloride solid and energy of this formation constant enthalpy change for formation of sodium chloride is minus 410.9 kJ per mole means formation of crystal is exothermic or endothermic right it is a exothermic process energy releases i am not talking about lattice energy i am talking about formation energy i am talking about enthalpy of formation i am representing it simply by symbol f now come to the indirect ways of formation of sodium chloride solid see the left side naturally occurring sodium solid is taken this sodium solid is converted to gas conversion of solid to gas that process is called sublimation therefore i represented a symbol capital s for that conversion enthalpy of sublimation what do you think during sublimation we need to provide energy or energy will come out of course we need to give energy if we need to give energy then enthalpy change will be positive or negative positive therefore their positive sign is there and value of sublimation of sodium is 107.7 after sodium gas formation means sodium in isolated gaseous atomic state we can ionize that 
if you remember definition of ionization energy energy needed to remove an electron from isolated separate gaseous atom gaseous atom was necessary for ionization and ionization was necessary to form na plus ion therefore we obtain that gaseous sodium atom okay let us proceed so gaseous sodium atom after ionization gives na plus ion and its state also is gaseous free from any other kind of attraction sodium ions what do you think to ionize the sodium energy is to provide or energy will come out yes we need to give energy then only electron will come out so enthalpy of ionization is positive is there and value is 496 kilojoule per mole. Come to the different steps of formation of chloride ions from chlorine molecule. Naturally, chlorine molecule do exist, but we want only chlorine atom in order to get chloride ion. So, how can I get only chlorine atom? I need to break the bond between whom? Chlorine atoms. Where do that bond exist? In Cl2 molecule. So bond is to break bond is to dissociate now answer for my question if i dissociate chlorine molecule how many chlorine atoms will be the result two chlorine atoms but i want only one so i am considering half of the dissociation energy for chlorine molecule so representation is half capital d d for dissociation bond dissociation now answer for my question energy is to provide for dissociation or energy will come out certainly energy is to provide if energy is to provide means endothermic means plus will be the enthalpy change so enthalpy change for dissociation is plus 1 to 1.7 kilojoule per mole of course half of the dissociation purpose to get only one chlorine atom i hope you are getting the point after this one chlorine atom, I want to obtain chloride ion. The charge says that it has taken the electron. Which term we use for gain of electron? Yes, electron gain enthalpy or, or electron affinity. I am representing that enthalpy change by symbol capital A. If we have to remove electron, energy is to provide. If we accept electron, energy will come out. Therefore, it is exothermic process. So, what is the value for that enthalpy change during affinition of electron or electron gain is minus 349 kilojoule per mole. Now, we are with one cation that is Na plus and anion Cl minus. Both are in gaseous state. It was necessary. And those are separated from each other. Gaseous state means isolated they are. There is no any further kind of attraction between them. But if we bring them closer, then they will assemble, they will arrange in different formats. We study different types of crystals. Sodium chloride governs FCC, face centered cubic arrangement. So sodium ion will get surrounded by means of 6 Cl minus and Cl minus by 6 Na plus ion and accordingly the solid will form, crystal will form and the energy will be liberated and that liberated energy is nothing but lattice energy that is the main point of our expression and that we need to find out and I represented it by capital U and question mark is there because we need to determine that out of the all possible terms we do not know only that term and that we can find by means of simple algebraic equation let us explain it further we are applying here Hess rule one way of formation of sodium chloride solid is direct process and the term used for that enthalpy of formation representation is capital F which is equal to summation of all the steps and the terms involved by indirect process. The first step was sublimation of sodium solid energy involved capital S. Second step was ionization of sodium gas 
and that was I. Third step was dissociation of chlorine, but only one chlorine we needed. So half of the dissociation energy. And the chlorine gas, atomic gas, will absorb one electron, take electron, gain one electron to form Cl minus ion. And energetics is called affinity. Sodium ion gas and chloride ion gas, they will combine to produce sodium chloride solid. And energy in world is lattice energy. That is our main point of interest. Now this degree of other things, all other things experimentally we can determine. So how can we find lattice energy? Lattice energy U is equal to F minus summation of all remaining things. Means in square bracket I represented S plus I plus half D plus A. Let us calculate this for sodium chloride example. It is found that formation energy, enthalpy change for formation is minus 410.9 kilojoule per mole. Sublimation energy 107.7 kilojoule per mole. Ionization energy 496 kilojoule per mole. And half of the dissociation energy of chlorine 1 to 1.7 kilojoule per mole. And electron affinity for chlorine is minus 349 kilojoule per mole. Just do the calculation. You will get answer as minus 787.3 kilojoule per mole. That is a lattice energy for formation of sodium chloride solid. This is the reason why far we were taking minus 787 kilojoule per mole as a lattice energy for sodium chloride on experimental basis means in previous calculation experimental value of lattice energy we were considering for sodium chloride as minus 787 because of this born haber cycle it is the only experimental way by which we can measure the lattice energy let us see now the applications of this born haber cycle shortly right as you guess to find lattice energies and out of the quantities that we are using in the born haber equation, if any quantity is not known, we can determine which quantities were there. Enthalpy change of formation, enthalpy change during sublimation, during ionization, during dissociation, during electron gain and lattice energy. Out of those all terms, if anything is not known, we can determine it by means of simple algebraic calculation. For example, if we don't know ionization energy for say any electropositive element by which we are getting ionic compound. Knowing other things we can find out. Same is the case for electron gain enthalpy. Let us understand it by one example. But you have to solve that. I am asking that example because simple formula only you have to apply. Let me see how many of you complete that homework. Yes, student, you have to find out electron gain enthalpy, electron affinity for iodine. And the salt that we are considering is sodium iodide. All other values are given to you. Heat of formation means enthalpy change of formation, minus 287.9 kilojoule per mole. Sublimation energy for sodium. 108.4 kilojoule per mole. Dissociation energy for iodine is 213.4 kilojoule per mole. Pay attention. Iodine dissociation energy is given. So you are getting two iodine atoms. We want only one. So what you need to do? You need to consider half of that dissociation energy during calculation. Mind well. Ionization energy for sodium 495.4 kilojoule per mole. Let us energy for sodium iodide, that's our compound is minus 703 kilojoule per mole. You have to find out electron affinity for iodine. Let me see how many of you solve this problem correctly. Write your answer in comment box. I am waiting for your answer. Yes. So what is meant by ionic bond? What are the essential conditions to form ionic bond? What are the types of crystals? What is radius ratio rule? Application of radius ratio rule? And then lattice energy, the important term, what does it mean, how to find that, how to calculate that, experimental determination, all the things about ionic bonding we have discussed as per your syllabus. Now, 
फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी नीड टू डिस्कस कोवैलेंट बॉन्डिंग